So we will start a new tutorial in Blender 2.8 and in this tutorial we are going to making an, a new product which is a bottle. So let's get started from the front view and we will try to start from no reference. I have the bottle in another screen and we will try to make it. So we will start from a circle. The circle will have a radius of 0.03. maybe point o point o 0.02 and after that we will say that we have uh, vertices maybe 32 such as this if you want to increase it you can decrease it to 24 or 28 any number because we will add a subdivision surface doesn't matter uh, the number of vertices so as you can see we have clipping here so you can go First, I will now activate the screencast case so you can see what I have typed here and you can go to the view and making clipping start at 0.001 to see this because we are working on a uh, small detail. So we will start from extruding in Z this amount which is around this. If you want, you can go to the units and enable centimeters to see it better and we, uh, after that we will extrude in Z I will move from now in Z point one uh, G in Z 12 such as this and I think 12 is large so we'll go here up to 10 centimeters and after that I will make three loop cuts and move here again let's move it to be here so first loop cut will be scale and shift Z and we can enable the proportional editing which is here so scale and shift Z and decrease the radius and you can go to be a sphere let's go now and all right and uh, maybe disable it and go another time to scale and scale this one also and this one will be scaled such as this and maybe scaling it to be here all right now we are done let's see what we have here so we'll extrude scale shift z point eight eight and extrude in z such as this and let's select this edge and shift d separate by selection after that we will select all we can say that it will be the bottle and this one will be the head of the bottle or be maybe bottle top or nozzle anything like, like this so we'll extrude in Z around 0.4 millimeters and scale shift Z 0.9 such as this and after that I will make some loop cut here and control bevel this one and extrude scale shift Z like this then I will select this one also and extrude scale shift Z 0.85 extrude in Z up to this distance maybe it will be around 0.8 and after that I will extrude scale shift Z 0.85 and extrude Z like this then we can make a loop cut here and all this detail we want to make some details because the main object or the main bottle has the same details and after that we can go finally to close this bottle which is here and we will extrude scale shift Z 
and after that we can make something we can shift D and separate this circle also you will extrude another cent one centimeter or point G and Z point nine or point eight and make this move in Z like this and after that let's close our top and again I will make some loop cut here to make an opening so we will make some loop cuts here and inside using the selection we can select all these and so I will select loop tools and make it a circle maybe moving in Y like this alright let's extrude in Y and scale in Y 0 again uh, let's make some loop here we can now save our file let's make the top so the top will be like this we will select this one and go to uh, this mode we have vertex and edge and face and we will select the vertex mode and let's now shift D to duplicate this one and separate this option we can select this one we have so we have this to be the bottle head and I will scale shift Z make the origin to be the geometry and I will scale around this distance then we can select all and extrude in Z up to this distance and after that I will make around 8 uh, so we want not 8 we want so let's first scale shift Z this to be this up to this distance and again we will extrude in Z and scale shift Z like this after that I will make loop cuts here around maybe around 40 or 54 and again we can go here and make around 12 maybe so I have to make around 14 here and after that let's go let's try to the subdivision surface all right in the solid mode we want to add the details so uh, we will select all these faces let's see what if we have select shaker deselect shaker deselect it won't make the effect that you want so uh, we will start to select one by one such as this and again let's try to select all as you can see it can take some time because uh, you can add bump map or normal map later but I find that using this to model because we can make some close uh, up shots so if you uh, want to make close up shots you must model this because the bump map will not add the same effect 
All right, so uh, we can now shift and make the cursor at the center by using shift C. And after that, you will make the cursor or snapping to be the 3D cursor and extrude scale shift Z 0.98, maybe 0.97 and Now we have this effect, and this is the effect that we want to uh, that we want to get. And maybe dissolving this edge. All right, let's make it to be shading to be smooth. And now we will select the upper part and duplicate, or shift S course to selected, and uh, go to the adding menu and add another sphere this sphere will be 16 by 16 and we will scale it up to this distance until it match our proportions and we can move in the axis such as this and after that let's go to the wireframe and select all these Let's try to make look at here and select all these values and delete what we have now. I will add some modifiers. It will be here and this will be a glass and maybe selecting this one also and extrude scale shift z and and let's go to wireframe extrude in the axis until we reach this distance and let's close leave it point to be median point Let's see what we have. Let's isolate it to see it much better. And again, we will extrude scale shift Z. And let's fill it now. You can insert it like this. This will be a middle, middle part. And let's re-isolate. All right, let's make some smooth shading full for all these parts. This will be our main bottle. You must add loop cut here. And let's, let's go here and I will remove all doubles because we have some remove doubles here. And again, let's extrude the scale and fill. After applying subdivision surface, you will see that we have this bottle and maybe adding some loop cut here and some loop cut here. All right, again, adding subdivision surface, select this one and move to be here select linked and scale shift z and again we can I will define the edges that we want to make it defined and select this nozzle and apply subdivision surface and again So uh, if you want to add some details like this, you can add using the Boolean modifier, but 
I don't use Boolean fire anyway. But uh, using this technique, you must add a lot of vertices. Uh, vertices. So uh, this vertex, which is 28, isn't usual. It uh, isn't perfect for our situation. If you have the time, you can re-add some circle and extrude it to have the same amount of vertices. And again, we have this one. All these will be an metal, except this one will be plastic. And let's recap what we have done so far. All right. So now we have finished modeling our bottle. So in the next part, we will see how we can adding some simple materials to this bottle and how we can render this scene. I, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. See you in the next video.